Hello everyone, this is Jamie from the Red Bank Public Library. Welcome to Power Play. And the, today is the first of our new series, Art as Therapy, where we'll do our projects that help to relieve stress and to take care of your mental health because that's just as important as physical health. And today we're going to be making our own self-care bags. And I'll show you like different ways you can decorate it and then show you some items that you could put inside. So for this project you'll need a bag of some sort like that's blank. Um, you can actually get this from the library like on our porch. We'll have like porch pickup and you can pick up the envelope with this canvas bag inside. Some scrap paper, a pencil, and then some markers, some colors and maybe like a Sharpie marker. And even if you could get one that's a little thinner, that'd be good too. Okay, let's get started. All right, first thing you have to do is take a few scraps of paper and insert it to the canvas bag. This helps to ensure that the markers won't go through. Then take some scrap paper and practice drawing items that make you happy or bring you inner peace. If you're not comfortable with drawing, you can write out the things that give you joy. Here's an example of one person that took this approach. This project was inspired by a bullet journal and prompt where journalists build pages with things that they're happy or grateful for. I thought it was the perfect decor for a self-care bag if you want to decorate the other way, go right ahead. After you're done practicing, then you could draw your favorite designs that you drew on your bag. You can use a pencil to lightly draw on the bag so you could trace it with markers, or you could just go right ahead and draw with markers if you feel comfortable. I'm making this self-care bag for my mom for Mother's Day, since I already made one for myself. For things that make her happy, I drew a peace sign, a cup of tea, and her favorite flowers, which are tulips. If you need some ideas, think of something for each of your senses that makes you happy. It could be smelling freshly baked cookies, or smelling your favorite scented candle. It could be your favorite food, or favorite sights that you've seen, your favorite song or sound, you could also do your pets, or an animal that you feel connected to. You could also add your friends and family. For things that are complicated to draw, like friends and family, you could symbolize it with something like a heart. Usually you want to make the designs very simple so it's easier to draw and color with the marker. After you draw the outlines of all your drawings, you could color them in. After you're done coloring, you could take the paper inserts out. I want to show you a few items that I have in my own self-care bag, give you some ideas. So this is a heating pad. So I just put this in the microwave for like about a minute and it just helps like with headaches and such. Got a stress ball. And mostly you want to do something that's going to help with um, grounding and again, like connecting with your senses. So this would be like touch. This could be like touch and sound. I don't know, I just like the way that sounds. Then I have a few cards of facts. I have a little care bear. My grandmother made me this bookmark. It's supposed to be a bookworm, but I actually really like run it between my fingers. Nice and springy. Then um, 
if you're a collector of gems, those can also be really good. Um, and each gem means something different, like this one's for um, supporting us in difficult times and helping us overcome challenges, so that's Jasper. Then I got keychain beads. I really do love beads because like um, they have like different um, you know textures and such like and that's something that can really help you when you're really overwhelmed. So like I, you could easily have this in your pocket just like squeeze it. Good thing to have. Then I have like um, some like lavender oil that you could put like a few drops like on the pillow or um, I have a necklace that um, actually had like a soft like felt in it and then you put a few drops in it then it can like smell like lavender or whatever scent so, like calms you down. Like I find lavender and uh, vanilla works the best for me. And then this is just a little bit of like Like, a little Play-Doh. That's always a good thing. And what I liked about this little kit that I got was um, it came with a little cookie cutter. So, you know, you can play around with that. It also smells like marshmallows. So, you know, that's like reaching like numerous senses there. Then I have the adult coloring book. You know, that that's probably the most popular way to de-stress is to you know, you know, color in a coloring book. And I also um, picked this up at the supermarket. Um, it's just like a word search and it helps me to focus on something else, like not focus on my problems and just focus on something as simple as like a little word search. And I find after finding a couple of words, I actually feel better. So. Those are some items that I had in mind, but there's plenty of other things that you can try. Um, and I'll show you what I found on the internet so you can get some more ideas. Ideas for self-care items. Tea bags, fidget toys, journal, photos, books, a list of your favorite movies or TV shows, plushies, Quotes or memes, anything that makes you laugh. Headphones or earbuds to cancel out noise. Hairbands, cards, hand moisturizer, heel and stones and crystals, and a music playlist. It's also very important to have the numbers of people that you trust. It's also good to have numbers of hotlines in your bag or on your phone in case you're in a crisis. An indicator that you need help from a loved one or a professional as if you try to go through your self-care kit and nothing seems to be working. Remember that it's always okay to reach out for help. Thank you so much for coming today. There'll be another Art as Therapy series video next month, and we'll be putting together our own quote and advice flipbooks, so you can start collecting your favorite quotes and advice. Until next time, see you soon!